Hello there and welcome to the second episode of my series, DCC In Depth. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at decoders. Now, these are the very things which make DCC possible. First, we will look at the accessory decoder. The accessory decoder uh, uh, can be used uh, totally up to personal preference. There are two ways to operate points and accessories on the layout, and that's to use standard DC control, where you have a massive control panel, and you wire it up to a 12 volt DC power bus under the layout. Or you can use this. This will attach to the actual power bus for the DCC layout. Uh, so, I mean, two cables dropping out of the DCC Select, DCC Elite, whatever controller you're using. That will then travel through a bus wire throughout the layout, feeding power to these and parts of the track that need it. Uh, these can operate points, turntables, and a number of other things if wired up correctly. Um, if, you are, if they are wired up correctly and you operate points, you can operate everything from your controller. However, some people like to have the massive control panel because they can actually label where everything is. So if you've got a massive layout, then it could be a bit of a problem remembering uh, where everything is unless you've got it all written down on a piece of paper. Now unfortunately I can't show you a video of this accessory decoder in action for it is not wired up to any point as of yet. But as we can see, we've got two bus wires coming out of the DCC Hornby Select and these go all the way under the layout and then we use these things called chock blocks so we just cut the wires and then we've got two wires leading off into the accessory decoder just here and as you can see the bus wire goes all the way around the layout and chock blocks are inserted in various points um, across the layout in order to feed power to the bits that need it if I just zoom in over there we'll see another pair of chock blocks I think if the camera decides to focus, there we go. And uh, that's the uh, joy of having a power bus, because um, obviously the entire DCC layout isn't going to be live, depending on what points you're using, uh, such as I'm using uh, varied insulfrog frog and electrofrog points. I use insulfrog frog points where the junctions get quite complex, and I'm using electrofrog where the junctions are very simple and easy to wire up. Now perhaps the most important thing about DCC is the locomotive decoder itself. This is what gives the locomotive its brains basically. This is its brain, this is what remembers its, um, its code or number shall we say and its acceleration time and deceleration time and a number of other things which make the locomotive unique. For example, uh, say I'm operating an A4 Pacific. I can program this decoder to have the specs of the real A4 Pacific so it accelerates and decelerates as it would do in real life. So it adds a lot of realism to it. Now the disadvantages of having something like this is that they are very, very delicate. As you can see I'm not being very careful with this decoder. This is the 8 pin decoder by Backman. I'm not being very careful with this because it's broken. Now be very, very careful on what decoders you buy. Uh, in the DCC world, you get what you pay for, unfortunately. It does not come cheap, but it will repair you in smooth running, as long as the trap is kept clean. And it's just an absolute joy to behold, such smooth running. As you can see, there's our eight pins. Now, fitting a decoder is fairly straightforward. Usually, you just have to take a look at the instructions. Sometimes, not even that. You'll find a couple of screws, and voila, the locomotive's open. Uh, the easiest of locomotives to fit DC DCC decoders to can be diesel and electric, depending on whether they've got lights or not. Now, steam locomotives, on the other hand, can be a little bit more trickier. You have to be really careful, because there's things like the linkage, and you've got very other small pieces of meticulous detail that need to be avoided. So in short, you must be really, really careful when installing these, but they will repair you. They are absolutely fantastic. And um, Try not to touch this bit with your fingers, not like I'm doing now. This has a little cover on it just to, prevent, just to prevent it from getting damage from static electricity. These things are very, very weak, so be very careful with them. And always hold them by the wires. Don't do what I was doing there. I'm only doing, it, I'm only doing that because this one's bust. And there we have it, I think that's covered more or less everything on accessory decoders and locomotive decoders. Uh, once again, thank you very much for watching DCC In Depth. Uh, the next episode will be on the power bus.